no tenga miedo. Ay, si pero, ella sabe nadar bien. Ay, pero me preocupa. Tú sabes que ella siempre nada y no... A, a veces me no, 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 no sabe, es grande ya. para María. María, te deseamos felicidad en este día y todos los días de tu vida. Salud. 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 Déjame encontrarte, un momento. Aquí lo tienes. Feliz cumpleaños, dáselo, Jorge. Acá lo tienes. ¿Qué será? Ya no sé. Bueno, háblalo, háblalo. Rápido.
You son of a bitch! Are you crazy? What is this? Mitchell. Jack Mitchell. Man, what the hell have you been up to? Save that for a shit, man. What in the fuck are you doing with your life, Tom? What do you mean I'm doing? I'm fixing uh, TVs on the side. On the side? On the, what do you mean on the side? On the side of what? It means on the side. What are you, some kind of millionaire playboy now? Yeah, I'm a millionaire playboy, bozo. I'm traveling all over the world, and I do what I want. I'm at the peak of my existence. Jesus, what did you do, join S? I'm with the company, Tom. I got the women you wet dream about. The company? The company. I'm driving a Ferrari, Tom. A Ferrari. What do you got? Got my old Chevy wagon. You've got shit, man. Look, I came here to get you out of this style. The company's looking for electronics expert in this sector. Well, hold it, hold it, man. You're getting way ahead of yourself. You know, I'm not into violence. There's no violence, wiretapping, shit like that. I don't know. You don't know? Have you looked at yourself in the mirror, buddy? You've been in horizontal hole too long. Rather than looking at something like that, you could be eating it. How does this work? Just trust me, okay? Just trust me. How much longer are you going to be, man? Just a couple more minutes. Take it easy.
sucker. Gave him a couple of bucks and sent him home. About ready? Yeah, the little baby's all set. Let's go. Yo. Got him. ID verification code, please. Charlie Red Niner. Thank you. One moment, please. Tom? Fill up. Listen, the company has some work for you today. Interested? Sure. I'm always interested. 3695 Scadlock Lane. Can you make it there in an hour? 3695. Uh, in an hour? your position with the company. Sure. I can be there in an hour. Yeah. Hour. He's crazy. Who was that? Uh, some guy with a TV to fix. What time is it? It's almost nine. Oh, shoot. I thought you set the alarm for 7.30. Why would I do that? Damn you, I've got a flight out at 10.45. Hey, here they are. Ah. Now stop bitching, all right? Hey, wait a minute, Lisa. Lisa, don't. I gotta. Come on, Lisa. I gotta get in there. Lisa, come on. I gotta. Tom Cathro? You guessed it. ID badge. That's all right. He's clear. You're late. Well, I had some trouble finding this place. What is this, anyway? High House. High House? Well, what's that? Mobile headquarters. Never mind about that. Next time I tell you to be someplace, you be there on time. Okay, all right. Well, uh, what's the big deal? The big deal is you're no longer a freelancer. They've cut out wiretaps in this quadrant, and Benton's put me on a new assignment. So if you want to work with me, you better shape up. Okay, all right. Look, I got locked out of my... Oh, never mind. Benton, huh? Who's Benton? Jesus, you ask a lot of questions. Benton's the man you got to pass muster with if you expect to stay on. All right, listen up, doggies. I'm not going to be with you this time in South America. You're on your own. Let's get this thing right. You, come on.
Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Benton, this is Tom Cathro. Sit down, sit down. And you'd like to uh, do some different types of work for the company, make some more money. Yes, sir. So you think he'd make a good retriever? Yes, sir, I do. Do you know what a retriever is, Tom? Like in the uh, dogs they use for hunting. Is that the right idea? Okay, Tom, we'll put you on again with Philip on a trial basis. Looks like we might have something tonight on that Danny Burke thing. It should be routine, a good job to break Tom in with. brother I was telling you about? Hi, Dan. Hi, Peggy. Well, let's go in so I can fix something to fatten this boy up. I've only lost about eight pounds. Oh, hey, I think he looks just right. Thank you, Peggy. All right. Come on. The Bergman Festival starts tomorrow. Danny, why don't you take Peggy and me and we'll, well go and do something? Well, Janice, I'm sorry. I can't. I have to leave in the morning. Well, I didn't know. Well, listen, I have to get going anyway, so... Danny, it was really nice meeting nice you. Nice meeting you, Peggy. And uh, I'll give you a call tomorrow, Jan, okay? Peggy, no, no, it's okay. Stay put. Okay. Well, I better get the leftover food in the ice box. Thanks, Thanks for dinner. Hey, it was a delicious dinner. Thank you. Danny, what's going on? I quit. I'm not with the company anymore. There's something I need you to read, okay? This isn't true, is it? Every word. And I don't want you to tell anybody anything about this until I can get it published. And I mean it, sis. But why do you have to be the one to write about it? Because I was there. I was a part of that. And it's up to me to be the one to get it published. Don't you realize what kind of trouble this can get you into? Are you expecting anyone at this hour? No. Oh, Jesus. Stay here. And don't make a sound. Hi, we're from Aquapure. Our salesman called you earlier. Like I told the man on the phone, we use Spartan water and have for years. Well, Spartan uses city water and runs it through a filter. But Aquapure uses pure artesian spring water. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. We have a bottle here to leave you free of charge, then you can taste the difference yourself. Well, if it's not going to cost us anything, you can bring it in. Hold it! I know who you are. All right, you drop it. Drop it. I mean it. I'll blow her away. Come on, boy, drop it. Easy, boy. Come on now. Easy. Easy. 
Come on. That's it. Damn it, what the hell's the matter? Go ahead. Send the second unit. Who the hell were those people? What'd they do? I don't know. I don't ask questions. Second will take care of it. Second? The hell second? I told you, don't ask questions. Fuck that. Pull over here and let me out. I think I'll walk from here. Okay, buddy. Listen, man, why don't you go home and wash your socks? I'll get in touch with you later. on his way. Oh, I was afraid of that. Come on, give me a hand here. What in the hell is wrong with you? You stupid fucking idiot. A simple pickup, and you blow away some goddamn maid. What the hell is wrong with you? No excuse, sir. You're goddamn right there's no excuse. Jesus, I gotta call Washington on this. That's two strikes for you, Philip. You think working for freelancers is bad? One more fuck up like tonight, and your fucking ass will be in China and your balls in Istanbul. You got that? Yes, sir. Have you ever had acupuncture before, Daniel? You know where one of the highest concentrations of nerve endings are? Well, for every wrong answer, I'm going to put one of these needles under your fingernails. Now, where's the book? Did you see anybody upstairs last night? What are, you, what are you talking about? I'm talking about when you were upstairs. Did you see a girl up there? Uh, 
No. No, I didn't, I didn't see anybody. This thing is turning into one big mess. Tom, we have another pickup tonight. This one should go a lot smoother. Are you in on this with me or not? Yeah, I'm, I'm in. All right, I'll be by to pick you up. Right. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Burke. B-U-R-K-E. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. When? Thank you, Everett. What is it, Jan? They checked out this morning. Took a flight to Naples. Oh, Peg, what am I going to do? Here you go, babe. One cup of instant jasmine tea. Thanks, Peg. You're making a big mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. You guys killed Irma, didn't you? Where'd you take my brother? Huh? Where'd you take him? Where is he? Come over here and sit down. Damn you, you better stop this right now. Shut up. All right, let's start with you, closet lady. Who's your brother? What did he do? And what does the company want with him and you? Come on, lady, look, I'm on your side. My brother was a secret agent in South America. He was trying to publish a book about their secret activities. Is that right? Hey, is that right? I just pick him up and deliver him. I don't ask questions. Well, I do. What happened last night after we left? I heard a car pull up, so I hid in the bushes. It was the police. Well, they started searching everywhere. I, something about them told me not to trust them. So then I came here. All right. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna start getting some answers around here. There they are, just pull up over there. Tom, this is a hell of a 
time to drop by. Sorry, Deb. Um, Debbie, this is... Uh... Janice Burke. Hi. We're kind of up against it. We need a place to spend the night. Tom, I'm with someone right now. You really are in trouble, aren't you? If there's anything I can do, what? No. Yeah, there is. Your car, Debbie. Let me have your car for tonight. Sure. Where are we going? I don't know, but we've got to find a place to stay. No one will look for us around here. We should be safe. Just and get it started, too. some things that go on in a world that I just don't want to know about. That's funny. I used to say the same thing to my brother. Don't tell me, Danny boy. Because I don't want to to say? Nobody wants to know. Until it happens to them. And then it's too late. Because now it's happening. Hey, 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 come on. Hey, we're going to be all right. We're going to be fine. As long as we stay... God. Lisa, my girlfriend. Keep this, right? You keep this. I've got to go. You don't open that door for anybody. I'll be back. No! Tom!
Got you, bastard. You embarrassed me, Tom. A good retriever always returns the game. I would have hunted you like a wild animal for ten years, but you made it easy for me. Well, don't dial me just yet, boy. It's your turn to answer a few questions. <laughs> with a knife again and he slipped. Don't get cute, Tom. Don't get cute? Okay, how about Dan Burke for the book? What book? You'll know it when you see it plaster on every book stand in the country. Tom, you're getting into this too deep. When you had Lisa killed, you got me involved. Deep. Look, Tom, it's not too late to come back into the fold. Edwards? I want to put the heat on every publisher in town. Hendricks has the publisher's file. I'm sure we'll get all the cooperation we need. Freeze. Drop the bag, Tom. Drop the bag, buddy. Drop the bag. Turn around. Turn around. Take a walk, man. We got to talk. Come on, take a walk. Come on. No violence, huh, buddy? We have no choice, man. Move. <laughs> uh. Uh. Suck on this, you gobble snot. Address. 
Okay, you keep him there, or I'll have your balls. We're on our way. You want me to burn somebody, Mr. Elliot? You give this to Benton and tell him I said don't screw up this time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And after the hardback sales, we'll, we'll move right into paperback. Yes, and, and while all that's going on, we'll, we'll, we'll be talking to Hollywood about a movie deal. Uh, I know a lot of people out there in Hollywood. Look, I think the first thing we have to do is get the PR people in here. Yes, so we'll get the PR people in, and, and they'll take pictures and get stories, and we'll do interviews. Yes, we'll do interviews on all the talk shows. There's, why, there's, there's the Merv Griffin and Mike Douglas, uh, Tom Snyder, Johnny Carson, and uh, in the magazines, we'll do stories on all the magazines. Uh, 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 there's, there's uh, Newsweek, and there's Time. Uh, we might even get on the cover of Time magazine, yes. <laughs> No, you can't go now. Uh, Wait, uh, well, we we'll have be to talk about, we have to talk about the contract. Advances! Uh, stay. Do you believe that guy? Time Magazine. Johnny Carson. Jesus. Well, it's back to the yellow pages. I hope they're all not like him. Here we go. Come on! Wait a minute. Oh, shit, come on! downstairs and cover the landing. Okay. the building. Read you, Pointer. We're on our way in.
Listen to this. Miss Maria St. Martin of Running Naked fame has long... Wait, 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 let me finish. Long known for her penchant to publish the unpublishables has finally turned the tide in her battle against government censorship. Miss St. Martin will address the United Paperback Wholesalers Convention at the Regis Hotel this Saturday. The Regis Hotel? That means going into the city. It's a chance we're going to have to take. Here's your swill, pig. What did he say? Okay, that's good. We'll talk about it tonight. Goodbye. Look, we're not gonna hurt you. We just wanna talk. What do you want? Just take what you want. No, we don't wanna take anything. We just wanna talk. We read about you in the papers. And we have something very important for you to read. You see, I've got this book. Well, my, my brother wrote it while he was a secret agent. They're trying to keep it from being published. Why? There's lots of books about them already. No, not like this one. This one names names. It connects people and organizations. There's a lot of people in high places that are gonna get in trouble. Look, our lives are on the line right now. They've killed to get my brother's book. Well, what do you want from me? All we're asking is for you to read it. If you read it, you'll want to publish it. Wait a minute. I can't read it tonight. I have 50 people coming up here in an hour expecting a party. You have to. We can't risk coming here again. Hey, I sympathize with you, honest. Why don't you just leave the book? No way. Then I can meet you somewhere tomorrow, say 11 o'clock. Oh, and then you bring the cops with you. Unless you're planning on kidnapping me, that's a chance you're going to have to take. Tom, I trust her. 
Yeah, well, I don't. Well, what are we going to do? What other choices do we have? I don't know. Where shall we meet? It's a motel by the beach. Jesus, I'm really on edge. Let's get out of here. Well, just wait a little bit longer. Wait a little bit longer for what? For the cops to show up? I don't know. You said you trusted her. I told you I didn't. Why don't you just have a little bit of patience? Why don't you start packing? No! You better. The cops are going to show up. It's going to be your ass in jail and not mine. Wait a minute. I want to publish this book. We're going to have some problems, but we can work them out. And this really means a lot to us. I've been wanting to get back at those bastards for a long time. And this may just be the way. The more they fight us, the more publicity they're going to give our book. Yeah, if they don't stop us before it gets printed. I've already thought about that. We'll have to go underground. If a word leaks out about it, we're bound to have an unexplained fire or some dead bodies on our doorstep. Well, when do we start, then? I have two good friends from my college days. They have this setup, kind of a guerrilla press. Big Mac, Tom, yeah. Tom, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? All right. telling me. Print about anything. Not very aesthetic, but uh, functional. Well, that's all that counts. Listen, uh, what's going down? We have to print enough books to flood the city. After that, we can come out in the open. You're talking about a lot of books. Look, to make a run like that, we're going to need workers. Oh, dear. Hey, you take care of your job, and I'll take care of mine. I'll get the workers. Hi there. 
You guys want some work? Hmm? Interested in a little work? some of this around. Wait a minute. First we talk. We're going to try this first. <laughs> All right. Hmm. All right, look, here's the deal. Well, you got his line, we got a deal. Check. Where you going, mister? Here's the wine. Anybody run by here? No, no English. No sabemos English. No. No. No sabemos. No. Come on, let's get out of here. has been seen in the inner city. If this uh, animal manages to get his book published, 
It could be very embarrassing for my voice, too. He's going to have everybody's tits in the ringer. This whole thing, it's uh, not going so well for you. Maybe I can handle it. If he's in the inner city, I can find him. And I can have him taken care of. I don't know, Mr. Gianelli. I owe you so many favors as it is. Ah, this one's on the house. Never refuse a gift, my friend. Hey, Big Mac. Mm. Mm. How come you eat so many apples? Mm. Hey, whatever's on sale. Mm. Are you kidding? Mm. It's anything that's not nailed down. <laughs> We're all going to need our strength to load those trucks tomorrow. You know, it's a miracle we finished as quickly as we did. Well, okay, good for us. We got the books done. They're not out on the street yet. My God, Tom, one more day. Your work ethic makes me sick. I'm going back to the hotel. You want to come, Janice? No, thanks. I'm, I think I'm going to stay here. I'll go with you. <laughs> Next time, baby. Excuse me. Are you Maurice St. Martin? Yeah. I would like you to come with us, please. <laughs> no way. <laughs> hey, guys. I think it's only fair to warn you. I've had a few classes in self-defense. Surely. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, mi tierra está mejor la marihuana que esto. What did he say? This, this is ragweed compared to what he's got back home. <laughs> okay, boys, go do your job. Mean-looking cats out there. I think they're holding heavy. What? Wait a minute. You guys go back down to South Wall and make sure there's no one else coming up the stairs. Cosmo, someone's got to alert the rest of the people. Let's go, guys. Oh, my God. 
We weren't expecting a brigade of derelicts to be lying in wait for us. Okay, we'll take it from you. Yeah, let's, let's think of another approach.
Sir? All right, what did you find out? Well, the warehouse is leased to Amos Jackson and Barry McCroy. Both are 60s activists. I have to say, no sir. It's owned by Morgan's Trust. Morgan's Trust? What's the insurance? It's insured for $300,000, worth about one seventy-five dollars at the max. Good. Get Hendricks down here. We're going to burn it down. He's already on his way. Very good. Lucky. Uh-uh. My road runs right through you.
by Daniel Burt. <laughs> we have a smash hit in our hands. Uh, look, I hate to break up the uh, family reunion, but we've got company coming. What? That's right, and they're coming fast. Take the point, brother. Get your bad stick. You got it. Big Mac, Cosmo, let's start humping. Can you find 